Uh, not necessarily game by game, but as we get closer to the end of the preseason, we'll ratchet up a little bit. Is he going to play all eight? We haven't, made, we haven't really uh, determined that yet, to be honest with you. We're just kind of going game by game and day by day. Uh, a lot of it is based on how he feels. You know, in the last you know, week and a half, he said he feels great. You know, got through training camp feeling really good and you know, got in great shape. Uh, so really, it's just, it's just basically day by day right now. What do you think it would take to knock that smile off Nick Young's face if surgery won't do it? Right, it's a shooting, some I don't <laughs> And that might not even work, you know. Uh, I think that's permanent. It's not going anywhere. What's it like to kind of have his energy just back around today? Well, it's good. It's just good seeing him. You know, it's good seeing him back out here, you know, with the team. Um, we know we can't really do anything with him for the next couple of days. But uh, when I first saw him today, and I, I didn't know this, I said, get your, get your stuff on. You know, we're going to do some running. And he, he real quickly told me, I can't. Gary, you know, the doctor said I can't run for a couple of days. So I think he was pretty happy about it. But in the long run, I'm going to get the last laugh. So it's going to be a... <laughs> It's gonna be happy for you know, be happy days for me coming up. So double his workload his first time back. Yeah, we got to get him back in shape. Yeah. You know, he's missed a few days, so I, I told him we can't let him go backwards. You know, right. we built up all that, uh, all that that stamina. You know, now all of a sudden we're losing, so we got to get it back. How, how many days can he enjoy this before he has to go back into the? Drive? Probably two. Okay. Probably two, and then we're getting back on the court. Hey Brian, are there certain lineup combos you want to see tomorrow that you didn't get a chance to run out on Monday? Yeah, I mean, there's a few guys that didn't play, you know, last game that'll play tomorrow, and uh, so I'll get a good look at them as well, you know. And again, can't play 15, 16 guys and really get a good look at them. So the guys that I play, you know, it's because I want to play extended minutes with those guys, so I can get a good look at them. You know, so yeah, Ronnie will play tomorrow. Anybody getting a break on those, those starters or those those veteran guys? No, not unless they tell me they need a break. You know, right now is, you know, the second game of preseason. I think we're still trying to build on some things on both ends of the floor. So, you know, I think those guys want to be out there right now. What would happen if somebody told you they needed a break 10 days into the preseason? It kind of depends on who it is. <laughs> <laughs> Kobe says, I need a break, coach. Okay. You know, um, I, I don't know who to, who to really use as an example. Was Randall. Randall said, I need a break. I'm going to say, yeah, yeah, okay. It'll be the same, okay, but it'd be very sarcastic, and it'd be, you know, I might play in 40 minutes just to just to really mess with him. What did you like about what you saw from Jeremy Lin on Monday? I, I just love the way he ran the offense. Um, you know, ten assists. You know, he didn't shoot the ball, you know, well at all. But I, I know that'll come, uh, so I'm not worried about that. But I, I love the way he just facilitated the offense, got everybody where they needed to be. Um, you know, and was able to just kind of get guys open shots, you know, so I hope he can continue to do that along with, you know, making his shots and being a little bit more aggressive offensively. Is, uh, is he a guy based on Nash's recent injury history? He's got to stand guard. I mean, he's got to be ready. He's got to be start. ready every night. Yeah, yeah he's got to be ready every night because, you know, every game might be different. So, uh, you know, that's one of the uh, things that we have right now that we just don't know, you know, with, with Steve right now. So. Uh, Jeremy, every game, he knows he's probably going to play, but there's going to be games where he starts and has to play a lot more minutes. What's Carlos Boozer provided you so far in camp and in the first preseason? Well, you know what? Carlos has got a, got a lot of experience. He understands how to play this game. A very good communicator out there. And, you know, we know he's a guy that can make mid-range shots. You know, we think we'd also throw it to him in the post a little bit, too. So uh, just trying to utilize him the best way we can, you know, to make him uh, very effective out there on the court for us. What do you think is the best way to utilize him? I, I like him on the elbow in the mid post. You know, those are those are shots that he can knock down. And if you guard him, you know, closely, then he can also put the ball on the floor. What, what, what's your perspective on his season last year in Chicago? Where he wasn't I have no perspective because I really didn't watch Chicago last year. To be honest with you, I didn't watch them at all. But given that, do you sense that, that he has an extra chip because of that? <laughs> well, I, I think so. Like I said, I think we have a lot of guys that have a, you know that little extra added incentive. You know, to have chips on their shoulders from where they were last year or whatever, whatever might have happened. Uh, and I think Carlos is one of those guys as well. How did he tell he, Henry, did he like, return to practice? Was he able to do some stuff out there today? No, he just basically watching. He's getting shots up now. Uh, he still really can't move as well as, as he wants to. His back is still a little tender. So we just got to wait till that thing calms down. One of the guys we haven't really talked too much about that you watched last year was Jordan Hill. Mm -hmm. How have you seen him improve from what you watched last year and now him in your system? Well, you know what? The one thing about Jordan is he can make shots. You know, the guy got about 17-foot range, and he can he can knock him down on a consistent basis. So, 
Um, you know, putting him in pick and rolls and having him pop, you know, being able to shoot the ball. He gets to the basket, gets to the free throw line. Defensively is the biggest thing we're trying to get him to understand, and he's, he's starting to pick that up, especially our pick and roll coverage, because I think all our bigs are, are active enough and athletic enough to do a good job on that, on that part of the floor. So uh, offensively, I think the guy, you know, point-wise, he, he's going to be a double-double guy, I think, for us this year. What did you see Steve at the end of practice? What was he able to do? He just did limited stuff today. You know, he just did some limited stuff. He did uh, you know, a lot of our early stuff, uh, you know, stretch, got some conditioning in. Uh, so he did a lot of the early stuff that we wanted to do. We'll like see how he feels tomorrow. To yeah, I expect him to play. Aaron, you played uh, Jeremy with Clarkson yesterday, uh, not yesterday, the, the first game. Do you expect to see them use a lot of two-pointer lineups? Uh, well, tomorrow it might be, you know, Ronnie and Clarkson or Ronnie and Lynn. So both of, you know, all three of those guys can play the point guard. The system is pretty much made for just two guard fronts. So got both guys got to be able to you know, run the offense. So you, you, you'll see those type of you know, combinations in there probably for the rest of the preseason. And also be able to play off the wall, right? Yes, yes. Is there something specific you're looking for in game two, a preseason that you didn't see in game one? Uh, still better on the defensive end. You know, I mean, that's, you know, that's our whole uh, emphasis, you know, for this whole preseason is just each game get better on that end of the floor, you know, not make as many mistakes, do a better job of covering pick and roll. Um, you know, I mean, it, it's just, uh, you know, it's just little things that we have to just continue to clean up. Hey, Byron, how do you balance trying to get in, like Boozer or Hill playing consistently together versus getting a look with Randall and Boozer or, or different lineups in the front court? How do you balance that throughout the preseason? Well, with me, you know, the first two preseason games, first two or three, I kind of stick with what we did, what you saw last game. And then the next two, I kind of miss, miss, miss a match, so to speak. And then the last couple of preseason, preseason games, I go back to what I think is going to be more of our rotation. So, yeah, then I have a pretty good idea. Yeah. yeah. Now that they've had a game under their belt, what do you want to see improve from your rookies? Uh, well, Jordan just be a little bit more selective in his shot selection. You know, I, I think he took about three or four bad shots, you know, and he, he has to do a better job of recognizing what's a good shot and a bad shot. Uh, from Julius, just like I told him, I want him to play harder for longer periods of time. Um, and that's the biggest thing. So, you know, conditioning with him is the biggest thing right now. I thought, you know, uh, you know, other than that, he did a pretty good job. How was Wesley? Was he able to do everything? Wesley went through everything, so yeah, he's fine.